Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Alright, can I do the uh, wait, five finger play? There's a new newspaper available too. Oh goodness. Somebody's screaming. I think she's dead, guys. Oh, are you okay? Nope. Well, he's met his rightful end. I can loot both her bodies, though. I don't know if I want to do that right in town. I don't think that's a good thing to do. She had six bucks on her. All right, um, let's. God damn idiot! Talking to me? I want to go to the general store because I want to sell my gold bar. Let's see what kind of weapons we can get if we can get anything. Anything good? Uh. No, he's not here. I scared him. Scared him away. Well, hello there. Let's... Como esta? There's really nothing in town that I, uh... wanted to do. We can read the new newspaper. See, what, see what's going on in the world. Thank you, sir. Civil unrest returns to Mexico. General Ignacio Sanchez's government has been quick to downplay reports of civil unrest in several provinces. Although witnesses talk of large-scale rioting, protests, and train hijacking by rebel bands alongside government death squads and other reports of violent retribution, government officials describe events as little more than small-scale skirmishes between an increasingly confident government and the last vestiges of a rebellion loyal to previous regimes. Dispatches vary widely as to the scale and extent of unrest and as to whether Mexico is moving towards a much-needed period of peace and prosperity or sinking into another era of violent internal strife and conflict. Unrest in the capital is believed to have led to the deaths of up to 5,000 people, although one local official blamed events on nothing more than a festival gone wrong. Southwestern Railroad executives de demand action. Railroad company officials have demanded the government take action against rising crime and unrest in the region. The railway was supposed to bring peace, prosperity, and the benefits of civilization to the region, but has itself become a target of robbers, brigands, and fare evaders. Officials say that unless their profits improve, they will have to stop paying off government officials with disastrous consequences for everyone concerned. Sewage streams through Blackwater. Ew. The Blackwater Sewerage Commissioners have announced a solution to the question of discharge of human manure into river system around Blackwater. All citizens are thus required to construct sewerage pipes that discharge at a location downstream from the center of town. Currently, the emitted gases and stench are frequently unbearable and vapors in the water have been said to consume the paint from the bottoms of boats. By safely discharging downstream, this ensures the town and people have performed their civil duties. Coming soon to Blackwater, Stretch Hawthorne, the singing blind grave robber, the gayest song and dance you will see this year, a heart-gripping musical drama in nine acts, starring the talented young actor Lawrence Dunn. <laughs> 
Immigration leads to U.S. disaster. The Democracy Platform has announced its opposition to both immigration and the integration of immigrants in the community. With immigrants comes large voting blocks and organization against the majorities, the majority class and race. Immigrants provide a vast block of unskilled labor, further devaluing the labor born in Blackwater. It is the position of the established class that opposition to immigration is the only choice whereby these territories can be prevented from becoming completely orientalized. Boy, that's befitting the times, isn't it? Millinery at its finest, hats for every woman. Virgil Dawson & Co., hats of distinction for ladies. Beautiful foliage guaranteed. Elegantly adorned with flowers, fruits, moss, nature scenes, the very latest styles as worn by ladies of class in large cities. Four inches higher than their European counterparts. Oh, here's uh, the story about Bonnie. Kidnapped a woman found alive. A rancher's daughter, Bonnie McFarland, kidnapped from her home in Hennigan New Austin, narrowly escaped death by hanging after a bloody shootout between Armadillo Lawman and me and Bill Williamson's gang at Tumbleweed. The motive for the kidnapping is still unclear. Initial reports seem to indicate that it was a crime of passion, but Miss McFarlane is a spinster of 29 years. Whew. 29-year-old unmarried woman? Unacceptable. Yeah, see? Well past marriageable or childbearing age. So this appears implausible. The incident seems to be linked to the recent capture of Norman D. Groomer to be William Williamson's second-in-command. Several men lost their lives in the skirmish, but Bill Williamson's body was not recovered, and it is thought that the notorious outlaw is still at large. Landon Ricketts, rumored alive. Perhaps the legends of the Old West do live on into this more modern century. Reports from Mexico suggest that possibly the last of the great gunmen, Landon Ricketts, may be alive and well just south of the border. Mr. Ricketts, who survived the Blackwater Massacre of 1899 and who shot and killed both of the Butcher Brothers in 1896, amongst many other rumored and verified killings, was long believed dead after a late-night gunfight in Eastern California in 1902. Now it seems the last of the men who lived by the speed of their reflexes may still be among us. It is unclear whether he will now join a Wild West show. Many losing faith in federal government. As the federal government continues to tighten its grip on land property and law across the entire western region, people are questioning the true motives behind its interference in local affairs and, moreover, whether the policies, institutions, and bureaucracies it has established are, in fact, less efficient than they were before. The federal government promised untold economic and social improvements, however, for most, the West is poorer and more lawless than it was 30 years ago. Travel to Mexico is still difficult. As diplomatic relations between the United States and Mexico continue to deteriorate, travel between the countries is complicated as major routes across the border between New Austin and Nuevo Paraiso, that's blocked out, remain impassable. Commercial travelers and tourists are being advised against border crossing at this time. Nate Johns promises change as governor. With the gubernatorial elections looming, Nate Johns delivered a series of bold and oppressive speeches this week in which he promised to halve crime and taxes by 1915 and vowed that every household in the state would have an automobile, an indoor toilet, and one literate family member by 1920. Campaigning under the slogan, Make the West Fair Again. Wow. Has this been redone? Because this is the remastered version. Was this always in here, like b way back in whenever this came out, 2012, 2013? Because it's very on point for the times. Mr. Johns has been dogged by accusations of corruptions and claims that he is out of touch with the common man. Despite his family's immense wealth and influence, Mr. Johns maintains that he is a man of humble origins with the people's best interests at heart. I mean, this has to have Trump influence, right? Is this Mwafa? I don't know. I mean, I guess if this did come out 2012, 2013, he was running at that time. So maybe, maybe it did. They must have, they would have had to have put it in like right at the end though. Like right as it was coming out. That's crazy. 
Flock of Sparrow Kidney Beans, six cans for 32 cents. Beans that stay fresh in the can for weeks. Once open, consume immediately to avoid poisoning. Uh oh. Proven to promote healthy and regular odors of night soil. Okay. Massacre at Ridgewood Farm. A group of bandits carried out a brutal massacre at Ridgewood Farm and Troy Springs. Men and women were murdered in cold blood, seemingly with little motive. Armadillo lawmen stormed the form farmhouse, defeated the criminals, and freed the survivors. It has not yet been confirmed if this was the work of the Williamson gang. If not, beleaguered Armadillo Marshal Lee Johnson has another serious problem on his hands. Chinese workers riot in Mexico. Reports are coming in of rioting amongst migrant Chinese workers in Mexico. Chinese laborers, large groups of whom are building both towns and railroads across Mexico, have protested about reduced pay and appalling working conditions. Riots broke out last week across Mexico at building sites following the withholding of wages due to deadlines not being met. Mex Mexican officials blamed socialists along with poor translators. Hmm. All right, let's see what kind of ads we got here. Galvanized Oilist Pinch Brand Commode. Ooh, and Slot Bucket. Looks exactly like a chair. But lift the lid and now you can do your morning. I can't see what it says. Ablutions. Right there at the breakfast table. Ooh, gross. I'm kind of glad I can't read that. Made of solid oak, beautiful piece of kitchen or living room furniture with extra performance. For sure, an immediate relief. Treats, burns, knife wounds, campfire accidents, and saddle chafing. Buck dingles, skin salve, tincture of arnica. $4.50 per... What is that? Dozen? Dozen bottles? No dilution for maximum strength can be... In used internally with complete safety. I don't think that's accurate. All right, let's see what we got here under the uh, miscellany. In honor of Mary Shackelford, aged 19 years of Ridgewood Farm, her life was taken too soon. Seeking actors for exciting new motion picture project, contact D.S. McKenna at the schoolhouse Armadillo, New Austin. Earl Arrington, age 31, and his wife Betsy Arrington, age 28, of Blackwater, proudly announced the birth of their 12th child, Francis Leonard Arrington. 12 child by 28? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Chewing tobacco available per, for purchase. Wonderful health benefits. Nathaniel Johnston, MD, physician, Armadillo. Norman Deke, age 34, killed in a gun battle at Tumbleweed and Gap Tooth Ridge, New Austin, and rightfully so. Willie Feeney, 27 years old, of Ridgewood Farm, has passed away. He will be missed by all who loved him and will not be missed by those who didn't, apparently. Room available in Casa Madruga, Nueva Paraiso. Good price, many nice girls. You got yourself a fine pair of eyes. Thank you. All right, now that we know what's going on in the world. Let's try this five finger filet. I don't know how this works. You look like you got a steady hand. How about it? I do not. Sure. I'm really nervous about this. I think I'm going to lose a finger. How much you believe in yourself? Not much at all. One dollar. Let's this do this. Is what you're up against. What? That's the best you got. Press the button illustrated to stab. Ah! Lucky. That damage don't look permanent. What? what I the devil? I don't understand. Do I have to just do it fast? Boy, all okay. Right there. You ain't half bad. I lost two fingers. That's it. I'm even quicker than this when I ain't drinking. Do I just have to do it fast? I guess. Oh. 
Ooh. Good, but not good enough. All right. Hey! No way! Too slow. What a Ooh, too slow. Life. Okay. That's one round one. Okay. Come on, you bunch of girls. Who's next? Greatness. <laughs> you can win? What's your wager? Three dollars? Okay. Does this get harder now? I hate this game. Oh jeez. Alright. Okay, here we go again. Quickly. Oh. Boom. You're darn good, boy. Thank you. Who's next? Nobody. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it again. I hate this game. I hate it. There ain't no point in proceeding if you're yes. not going to wait. Yes, quit. Howdy. Oh. Five finger fillet, sir. We meet again. All right, let's get ourselves a bounty. Oh, here it is, right here. There's a new edition of the. Oh, there's no new edition of the paper. I was gonna say I just bought the paper. What are you talking about? I don't think I can go in here, can I? I can. Nothing in here for me, though. Be righteous, bathe in his blood for repentance. You okay, sir? What's going on? Nothing. Is he still not here? All right, hang on a second. Let me look at this wanted poster, see where we need to go. Dale Gisson, Walton's Gang, Property Destruction, Rio Del Lobo. I need to find that place anyway, because that's where the treasure is. So 40 alive, 20 dead. Come here, horse. Watch, here comes a dog, I betcha. He's right here, John. Stop whistling at him. That's the, uh... That's the store store owner that I wanted to go see. Yeah. Okay, so let's, um... First of all, let's go ahead and do our survivalist map. That way, if we do... If we do find some stuff that we need, we can go ahead and grab it. And then, on top of that, let's get in our map here. Okay, so this is Rio Del Lobo. And let's set a waypoint on this man and, and go get him. There's also a stranger over there by Seth. All right, let's get this guy first and then we'll do the stranger and then Seth. Wait, it didn't, it didn't set my waypoint? It did. Come on. So 
So here's a plant that I need. Uh, right here? Is this world fever for you? Because I don't think I need this. Do I? Yeah, I don't think I need that. Does the survivalist map work over the whole map or just the location that you're in? Come on. It's only given me wild fever few so far. But I don't think I need that one. I think I've already gotten all of that that I need. Okay. Um. The last to catch, catch him alive? I don't think I want to do that. We got the high ground. That's nice. My horse is going to kind of ruin everything. Get, we gotta get this to Armadillo quick before the before the rest of those guys show up. Let's go. Yeah, let's get over here on a road so we're not just like jumping off the side of a cliff or anything. That was a nice looking deer. Coming. This one. That caught up to me. Did you move? Oh. Found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. I did. I'll take forty dollars. Still have that stranger mission? Uh, that's a doctor. 
I don't know. Let's go in here and see what he has to say. How would Armadillo get by without that? Howdy. 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 Come to get that bullet out your leg. Hmm. I wonder what I, I can sell you my gold bar. I did not know that. That's okay. It. That's it. Just take my take my gold. Probably should have taken it to the bank. Um, well, let me go in here. I got iron to suit any need. How are you, mister? We got the second amendment for a reason, don't we? I <laughs> wish you do. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, what's this bait? Tracks animals. Do I have this one? Howdy, hi. And there's no way to tell. Nice doing business. Which gun I have, right? Thanks. That's good. We'll start here. I hope you keep protected. Okay. Let me see here. Um, shotgun, it's right there, let's put that away, nice, alright, Where's my horse at? He's just like roaming around town. Hey, bud. All right, let's, um, not that. Let's get our map out. Because I want to go see that stranger over by Seth. We'll get him first, and then we'll finish Seth's mission. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.